Hello, movie lovers everywhere. Yes, it's Bob from Toronto, Canada. I'm here to talk about the movies I watched this week and last week. So for two weeks, not many movies. You know, I'm kind of busy. I was on holidays for a while. My brothers helped my other brother move. I didn't do much, but helped him move. Doing stuff at home. Getting another, my second COVID shot, you know, so. Not many much time for movies. Hockey's all over now. Tampa Bay won the Stanley Cup, as most most of you know. But uh, that's it for hockey, and there's one more game for in uh, soccer, and that's England. And once that's over, I guess there's more time to watch movies. So there we go. Are you ready? I watched this movie. Watch this with my brother Donnie's. Donnie liked it. Yeah. So it's the Green Book. Yeah, Virgo Morganson and Mara Ashwala Ally. I guess he's going to be the next Green Panther, as far as I know. Uh, but this is a very good uh, story. So you got it from a book, true story, based on these two gentlemen. He drives, he drives him around down south to concerts. Interesting, very interesting movie. I've seen it four times on the movie channel, and I finally bought it. Got this from Amazon. I think I, one time it was on sale for $4.99, but I never, $4.99, but I never bought it. Then when I went to buy it, it was $6.99, I bought it. Now it's on sale on Amazon again for $4.99, so I can't win. But anyway, The Green Book. Excellent movie, I give it an eight. Right to your toes, people. All right. I watched uh, a movie called uh, The Normal Heart from 2007. Seen it on the movie channel. Pretty sure it was a movie channel. And uh, awareness of the HIV AIDS crisis in New York City in 1981 and a few years after that. Starring Mark, uh, Mark Raphael and Julia Roberts. You know Mark Raphael, he plays the Hulk right there. Hulk's uh, character, right? His uh, alter ego. Yep. You know, we already know that in the Marvel and the Marvel movies. But this is a very well done movie. Uh, starts off like everybody loves everybody and all that. And, and then uh, people start dying. The end of the movie is a very sad movie. If you haven't seen it, you yell, it's nothing wrong with it. You should watch it if you feel inclined. I gave it an 8. An eight for the normal heart, 2007. I also watched uh, on uh, TCM, of course, TCM, right? I watched uh, Run Silent, Run Deep from 1958, and that stars uh, Clark Gable, right, in his older age bracket up there, right, and uh, Burt Lancaster, and. Uh, a submarine captain and his executive officer clash during a search and destroy mission. They're out there hunting for um, um, bombers. I'm not bombers, but uh, ships from German, right? German, Germany, battleships and stuff like that, right? So Clark Gable's out there to get revenge because his original sub that he was in got the, the torpedo, right? So now he has another ship which should have went to uh, 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 Burton Lancaster's character. He should have been in charge, but Clark Gable is. So there's a little bit of, you know, don't like each other back and forth there. But uh, very well done movie. Excellent movie. I give it an 8. I enjoyed it. And there's another movie on Netflix. I watched The Enemy Below. Another war movie. Um, 1957, this one was. And uh, it stars Robert Mitchum and Kurt Jurgens. Robert Mitchum is in charge of the battleship, and Kurt Jurgens is the German that's in the submarine. And they play a cat and mouse kind of game, right? You know, trying to. Uh, Robert Mitchum's car is probably trying to uh, kill everybody in the submarine. He drops uh, death bombs, you know, over the side. Uh, 
A World War II battle of wits between a German U-boat captain, commander, you know, and an American destroyer, which is Robert Mitchum. Very well done movie, excellent. Keeps, uh, keeps you occupied, you know, with the story, and uh, there's lots of uh, action. There's always something going on, right? So that was a very well done movie. I give that an eight. Another eight. Yep, The Enemy Below, 1957. And then I watched a movie called A Rabbit. A Rabbit, A Rabbit, A Rabbit, A Rabbit. You know, you get bit, right? Stuff like that. Yeah, 2019. Um, she, got, she goes, she's riding on a bike a bit at the beginning. I don't really understand the movie, to tell you the truth. I don't, I don't get it. Another one of those movies I don't get. It. But it's like David Cronenberg, pretty sure. It's a remake of his movie from 20 or 30 years ago or whatever. I don't even know if I saw the original. But uh, she, she's in a motorbike uh, accident, right? And her face is all messed up. And she goes in and gets a, a new uh, face, right? And stuff. And now she looks really nice and stuff like that. Uh, so it has to do with her face and... So she goes around biting people and, man, she got this crazy looking thing hanging out of her arm. It looks like a snake. It looks like a dick. And it bites people and sucks their blood. And I have no idea what's going on. I watch this movie and I go, Bob, you don't have a clue, do you? No, I don't. I don't. I don't understand this movie. Yeah. So I gave it a... A four. A four. I, I won't watch this movie again. I won't even buy it. But uh, yeah, that's it for that. So, gets a four. Rabbit. 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 You know? Anyway, I didn't like it. It gets a four. And then I also watched uh, Unconquered, 1947. Gary Cooper. Yeah. This has everything in it. The Redcoats, Indians, forts, slaves, you name it. It's all in here. Yep, very well done movie. Cecil B. DeMille spent $5 million in 1947 making this movie. So, yeah. Its introduction is by Turner Classic Movies host and film historian Robert Osborne. Y'all remember him, right? So, yeah. So, 1947. Big 8 for Unconquered. And that's the movies I watched. Not many, eh? But I'll get back on the bandwagon and start watching some more movies this week. And stuff, probably, you know, more now. But that was two weeks worth. But I, like I said, I was busy, right? I was on holidays so out in Oshawa. I'm watching hockey games and uh, getting, my, getting my shot and stuff like that. And there's the phone. So, uh... I'll talk to you later. Keep watching those movies.